these polymers possessing amide linkages are important examples of synthetic fibers and they are termed as nylons we have a dicarboxylic acid here and a diamine and n units of polymerization of these two reactants we get a polyamide the general method of preparation consists of the condensation polymerization of diamines with carboxylic acids and also of amino acids and their lactams now let us discuss about the preparation of nylons nylon 66 it is prepared by the condensation polymerization of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid under high pressure and high temperatures Nylon 66 is used in making sheets, bristles for brushes and in textile industries. Here, n units of hexamethylene diamine reacts with n units of adipic acid at 553 Kelvin and high pressure to form nylon 66. It is thus obtained by heating caprolactam with water at high temperature. Caprolactam has a closed structure and at a temperature of 533 to 543 Kelvin and hydrolysis results in the formation of nylon 6. Nylon 6 is used for the manufacture of tire cords, fabrics and ropes. Polyesters. These are polycondensation products of dicarboxylic acids and diols. Dacron or terylene is the best known examples of polyesters. It is thus manufactured by heating a mixture of ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid at 420 to 460 Kelvin. In the presence of zinc acetate and ammonia trioxide catalyst as per the reaction given earlier. Dacron fiber is a crease resistant and is used in blending with cotton and wool fibers and also a glass reinforcing material in safety helmets as shown here.